she may be not the person that I thought she was. Whoa. How are we going to find out who's telling the truth? It's a house of mirrors. Dear Nave and Max, my name is Colleen, and I am 20 years old and live in Spokane, Washington. And I met Tony over three years ago on Plenty of Fish. From the start, Tony had everything I looked for in a man. He was supportive and most of all loving. It wasn't long before I fell in love with him. When we met, he claimed to be living in Lakewood, Washington. But despite my many attempts to meet, he always had some excuse not to come. I even tried to video chat, but it seemed never to work. Tony and I took a break. But Tony was never far from my thoughts, and it didn't take long for Tony to step right back into the place where we left off. He's unlike anyone I have ever met. If it isn't obvious yet, I'm just stuck on this guy. I kept asking him to meet the last few months, and recently he caved in and told me he can't meet because he's not even in Washington State anymore. Where is he? He says he now lives in Baton Rouge. Oh no. Does he have social media? Is he online? I've asked him about social media, and he said no. He does not have any social media. Nothing. Nothing. That's kind of like the equivalent of like your parents saying they only had sex once, like to have you. <laughs> right. I started to talk to Tony again recently. And in the beginning of the year, he proposed to me. What? Yeah. We were on the phone. I got off work one day and he's like, will you marry me? And I'm like, wow, um, of course, you know, you make me super happy. Uh, well, I have to tell you guys something. I haven't been completely honest. What? We've only been seeing each other for like three months. Wait, so the three years thing isn't true? Yes, that part is not true. Why what? would you lie? Did you feel embarrassed? Mm-hmm. I just got out of a relationship, hopped back into another one. I guess I just wanted it like, I didn't want you guys to think, oh, she's rushing in. I've never been treated the way he treats me. Very rare for me to find somebody to connect with. I've been in a couple of abusive relationships. Tony is the only one that I could talk to. He's always there. Like, yesterday morning, I had a nightmare, 4.30 in the morning. I called him immediately because I couldn't sleep. And he answered the phone and stayed up with me the rest of the morning. You've only seen a few pictures of the guy. Mm -hmm. You only met him three months ago. So let's imagine he's 200 pounds heavier than what he is, would that be a deal breaker? I don't really care either way. I don't look for looks. I look for personality. We're not getting very far because we have very little information on this guy. The only thing we have is that his phone numbers are from Spokane. Maybe instead of wasting our time and her time by going and basically telling her that we didn't find anything, we should skip a few steps, just call him ourselves. I'm on a show called Catfish on MTV. I'm currently in Spokane at the behest of a young woman named Colleen. Is she with you? We're not with her, no. Not right now. Where are you exactly? I'm in the Baton Rouge area. Why does your Plenty of Fish account still say that you're in Washington? They used to live there. And is there a, a good reason why you haven't gone to see your fiance in person? I love her, but I have reservations about whether or not she was poor. She lied about her age. Really? What? In what way? She told me initially that she was 25, and I found out she was 20. And she's kind of irresponsible with the money. She put me under the impression that she was about to receive a promotion at work. And after we got engaged, she lost her job. So uh, I've been supporting her. So have you been sending her money? Yeah. How much have you sent her? A little over 300, 400 bucks. He said you had lied to him about how old you were, that you had said you were 25. My profile says 20. Never told him I was 25. In fact, I've been talking about my 21st birthday for the last two months. He could just be giving us BS excuses, but he also said that you had lost your job mm -hmm. and started asking him for money. I never once asked him for money. He's offered to send me money, but I've said no. And then he sent me some money last week, but that's it. So he did send you money? Yes. It was only like $75. 
we've been lied to before mm -hmm. on the show. So we're not going to take sides. We're not going to position ourselves to believe one of you more than the mm -hmm. other. I think we should see if he wants to meet up. Oh, uh, I'm being completely honest. Okay. Uh, I lied about my pictures, and that's why I'm having reservations. <sighs> um, I still would like to meet her. Okay, great. If we flew down to Louisiana, would you be available to meet up with us? Yeah, that's fine. Take a deep breath. Why don't you step on out here? Good looking guy. Right? Why would he lie? What's up, man? How you doing? <laughs> I'm awesome. All right, well, that's nice. That's <laughs> no nice. one has ever yeah. walked out the door and said, I'm awesome. Nice to meet you, finally. Nice to finally meet you, too. But why did you say that I told you I was 25? I've never once told you I was 25. And when did you send me hundreds of dollars? I apologize. I, honestly, I was just scared. Um, I kind of just made it up as I went along. Which wasn't the most honest thing to do. I have a lot of self-esteem issues, and I was kind of insecure that you wouldn't accept me for who I am. Who are you? Jeremy Antonio. So your name is Jeremy, but you went by Tony. My middle name is Tony. The phone number you have is from Washington. Did, have you previously lived there? When I was 18, I moved to Washington, and I instantly loved the place. I knew I was going to come back, but I wanted a reason to. Why were you pretending to be this other guy on Plenty of Fish? It makes me more inclined to date Caucasian women because I feel like, you know, I can be myself. I can dress like this. I can, uh, I can watch science fiction movies and do whatever it is that I want to do. I don't want to be viewed as a stereotype. I'm sorry. I'll do anything to keep moving forward with you. You still want to marry me? Yes. Is there anything else I need to know? There may be one other thing. My family, they're not accepting of interracial dating. And your family's approval is something that's important to you? Yeah. So before we go to the next stage of our relationship, I want you to meet my family. I ask Colleen to marry me. Oh, Lord. On the dating app that they met on, Jeremy posted pictures of a white guy. Jeremy. Oh, what you doing? Something wrong with black people? I don't even know what to say. I feel like you should have been able to just come say, look, I need to talk to you. I was under the impression that you'd be more accepting if I was married to someone of the same race. Where'd you pick that up from? I'm not prejudiced. It really felt like you took something and stabbed me or something when you said that. Do you talk about living together? Yeah. I really don't want to move out of Washington. So he's actually leaving to Washington? I might. Really? Please don't cry me. I'm gonna be all right. I'm gonna get through this. It just hurt to know that you feel like, I mean, you couldn't come sit down and talk to your sister. You talk to me about everything. Are you, are you upset because he's with a white woman? Mm-mm. That's your life. But I, I just would have felt a little better if you could have confided in me. Whatever y'all do, however, whatever, that's totally up to y'all. I'm gonna still love my brother, and if you happen to become one of the family members, I'm, I'm gonna have to deal with you, too. <laughs> I never want to take him away from you. Thank you. Me and Jeremy are trying to work it out. In fact, he's actually right here with me. What? Oh, oh my hey. God. Hey, there he, there he is. Are you just up there temporarily, or are you, like, staying there for a bit? Well, I got an interview at a pizza place out here, so hopefully that goes the way I want it to. I mean, this is what you wanted, right? You you wanted to move back to Washington. Your plan really worked out. Yeah. I thank you guys every day for bringing me to him. I want you guys at our wedding when and if we do get married.